Data of every description will pervade our consciousness. Holograms projected beneath our eyelids. Direct retinal stimulation. Welcome to the DCC Museum. Hi and welcome back at the museum. Today is a super exciting day because one of our missions to complete all production players at the museum, have them on display at the museum, has come to an end after seven years of starting the museum. With the arrival of this Panasonic RSDCM1, we are now complete as far as the production types of DCC player goes. In the past seven years, our list has changed substantially. We have come up with three different categories, 38 players that we know to be existed and to be produced. Then there of course are category two, the prototypes, and then there is a category three, like the Samsung RSDC 300 that we never knew existed, was in a brochure, but was only pre-production. So in those three categories, we are able to close one category, and that is the production type. We have looked for it for seven years, this video, we're going to tell you all about it. Because the door would not open and we heard a rattling noise, we decided to remove the mechanism for a full restoration. If the door does not open, you can always open it manually, like this. You now have the best access to replace the pinch rollers. Part of the gear that fell out is the reason for the rattling. We need to replace the gears, belts and capacitors like shown in a previous video on all 4th generation players. After the restoration, we can put it all back together and quickly test if it's working. The RSDCM1 is a standalone player that has analog in and outputs, and this version is 100 volts. It does not have a digital interface cable like MIDI set players Panasonic 505 and the Technics 909, but these will not have any analog in or outputs. The RSDCM1 is the only player that can work separately from any system without a modification that involves removing a simple transistor. It also has a timer connector to remote stop playing or recording. So there you have it. Lucky number 38, closing down the first category, although you never know if we were wrong and this list that we have been creating for seven years might evolve to a new number. But for now, I think we're complete on the first category. The second category, prototypes, of course that remains open for years to come. You don't know how many out there and how many we will be able to find. The third category, products that were in catalogs but never really made it to market or pre-production types. We have several of those. That is an open category that's always still exciting to find new ones. And of course we have a fourth category that I didn't mention earlier 
and that's right on this side that is players in box we have about 25 of those so we keep working on that as well and of course we only have 1100 titles of the 1500 dcc titles pre-recorded dcc titles that we're still on the lookout don't even think we're going to retire we're still here for you thanks for watching see you next time